The University of Wisconsin Oshkosh Fox Cities campus assists the city of Menasha with video recordings of city meetings. Menasha residents and interested parties can get information about city meetings, meeting agendas, and other documents from the city website, www.cityofmenasha-wi.gov. To express opinions about City of Menasha issues, or these broadcasts, contact the mayor's office, 920-967-3608. Contact the city alderman. Contact information appears on the website. Or complete the electronic feedback form on the city website. All public portions of the meetings are recorded in entirety and are not edited. Good evening. I'd like to call the City of Menasha Common Council meeting to order. Please rise and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If we could have the roll, please. Alderman Nichols? Here. Alderman Eisenach? Here. Alderman Sevenick? Here. Alderman Hammond? Here. Alderman Tom Grady? Here. Alderman Ted Grady? Here. All are present with the absence of Alderman Schmidt and Alderman Rapella. Thank you. The first item on the agenda this evening is the report of department head, staff, and consultants. We have the minutes and communications. Do we have a motion? Alderman Sevenick? I haven't gotten my computer on yet, <laughs> so. Anyways, thank you, Mayor. At this time, I'd like for us to receive minutes A through D and our com one communications E. Okay. There's a motion, a second. Is there any discussion? S did you have discussion, Stan? I do not. No. Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Are there any opposed? Seeing none, the motion carries. Item F is public comments. Is there anyone who would like to speak this evening? No? Seeing no one, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Um, we have items one through six. If anyone would like items separated, Alderman Sevenick. I think we'll just go through, Mayor. Go ahead. So at this time, I'd like for us to approve the minutes of the Common Council of 12 22 Okay. So motion a second. Is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Are there any opposed? Seeing none, the motion carries. Item two is the municipal property insurance renewal. Is there a motion? Alderman Nichols. Thank you, Mayor. I'll move to approve the 2023 municipal property insurance company renewal policy quote for $56,272 as adjusted and recommended by the administration committee. Is there a, there's a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, are you ready? Could we have a, vote, a roll call vote, please? Motion carries 6-0. Item three is the storage tank liability insurance. Do we have a motion? Alderman Nichols. Thank you, Mayor. I move to approve the 2023 storage tank liability insurance with ACE, Premium, ACE American Insurance Company renewal policy quote for $1,355 as recommended by the administration committee. Second. So motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Yeah, okay. oh. Alderman Grady. Yeah, thank you. I don't know if the, is it the attorney here? She is way in the very back. No, because <laughs> was, was there a question on one of the areas of the, tanks that she was going to look into, or is, am I in the wrong topic? I believe it was the first item, correct? That was, was, was that the first adjusted? one? Oh, okay. Oh. Yes. So the, the first item, I apologize, excuse me, oh. the second item, um, the MPIC insurance, that had been adjusted since the administration committee met. Okay, thank you. Seeing no further discussion, if we could have a roll call vote, please. Motion 
Motion carries 6 0. Item 4 is Nina Menasha Joint Finance and Personnel recommendation for a UTV. Is there a motion? Alderman Sevenick. Thank you, Mayor. At this time, I'd like for us to approve to, um, and spend grant funds from the state of Wisconsin EMS flex grant for the purchase of a UTV from Caroline Motorsports UTV skid unit from emergency vehicle services and a trailer uh, at a cost not to exceed $50,000. Is there a second? Second. It's a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, if we could have a roll call vote, please. So Motion carries 6 0. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. It's just a skinny space behind there. That should make it easier for you to see. <laughs> Item 5 is another recommendation from Nina Menasha Fire to carry forward funding. Is there a motion? Alderman Sevenick? Yes, I'd like to make a motion that we carry forward $9,547 from the Nina Menasha Fire Rescue 2022 All Other Equipment CIP budget for the purchase of a MDC and radio for car purchase in 2022. And if anyone has questions, I believe the chief is here. Is there a second? Second. Yep. So motion and a second. Is there any other discussion? We could get off easy, Chief. <laughs> we could have a roll call vote, please. There's one more. <laughs> <laughs> motion carries 6 0. Item 6 is another carry forward from Nina Menasha Fire Rescue. Do we have a motion? Alderman Sevenek? Thank you, Mayor. At this time, I'd like for us to carry forward 10000 from the Nina Menasha Fire Rescue 2022 uh, maintenance of software budget for station alerting software. And again, the Chief is here if anyone has any questions. Is there a second? Second. It's a motion and a second. Any discussion? <clears throat> Seeing none, if we could have a roll call vote, please. Motion carries 6 0. Item I is action items. The first is the accounts payable and payroll. Do we have a motion? Alderman Nichols. Thank you, Mayor. Move to approve the accounts payable and payroll for the term of December 16th through December 29th, 2022, in the amount of $1,005,225.33. Second. It's a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, it's really good that I can see you guys, but I can't see these guys on this side. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing none, if we could have a roll call vote, please. Thanks, Ted. <laughs> Motion carries 6 0. Item two is a grant for the River and Washington Street traffic signals. I don't know if we'd like Director Youngworth to go over this first or if someone wants to make a motion. Alderman Sevenick? I'll make the motion and then um, we can hear from Laura. Um, I want to, I guess we got two different kinds of motions here. One is a recommended one and then we have something. So, so all you need to is the acceptance spend the <coughs> grant. So is it okay on the one on the agenda? Yes. Okay. I'll read both. So thank you again, Mayor. Uh, I'd like for us to accept and spend the Washington traffic signal update grant funds with Wisconsin DOT and to authorize the engineering department to accept and, sp and spend the FY 2024 signal and ITS 
uh, standalone program with Wisconsin DOT grant funds. Second. So motion a second. Thank you. Director Youngworth, did you have anything to add? Yes, thank you for the opportunity. So just to give an overview of what this entails, um, in uh, March of 2021, we had originally applied for this grant program through the DOT. Um, it's the SISP or Signals and ITS Standalone Program Grant. And we were awarded that um, for the amount of $108,000 to look at the intersection of River and Washington. And the plan at that time was to upgrade the outdated signal cabinet and improve signals to um, split phasing. So in summer of 2022, we did initiate with a consultant that study and it came to light that there are a lot more that needed to be upgraded with it. This is a 30 year old uh, set of signals. And obviously with all of the converging points with the railroad, uh, the Sunoco there, all of the intersections, it was warranted that we do more than we were originally planning. So with that said, there was a fiscal year 2024 grant cycle that was available for this, these SISP funds. So in September, we did apply for those and successfully were awarded those as well. Um, and this is a 90-10 split. So 90% covered through the DOT and 10% local contribution. So I did put in a table within the memo that outlines the amount that the city is gonna be paying for the, paying for, excuse me, and the amount that the DOT would cover. And this all has already been budgeted for and approved in our, in our budget. So um, unless things change with pricing, as we all know, that could happen, but we're gonna keep proceeding with design and getting this finalized and moving forward to implement in 2024. Any other questions for Director Youngworth? No? Oh. oh. I marked up his Rania. <laughs> You're welcome. She's, she's using one of the Alderman's oh. <laughs> web, um, microphones. <laughs> so seeing no further discussion, if we could have a roll call vote, please. Motion carries 6-0. And Item N is public comments. Did you have anything to add, sir? No? no, I don't. Okay. Item O is adjournment then. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion. Is there a second? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned, thank you. The University of Wisconsin Oshkosh Fox Cities Campus assists the city of Menasha with video recordings of city meetings. Menasha residents and interested parties can get information about city meetings, meeting agendas, and other documents from the city website, www.cityofmenasha-wy.gov. To express opinions about City of Menasha issues or these broadcasts, contact the mayor's office, 920-967-3608. Contact a city alderman. Contact information appears on the website. Or complete the electronic feedback form on the city website. All public portions of the meetings are recorded in entirety and are not edited.